Hi, and welcome to Balance My Hormones YouTube channel. I'm Mike. Oh yeah, this is Mike. And this is Sam. I'm Sam. So today we're gonna to talk about why, why would you want to be on TRT? Um, and I suppose it's usually symptoms, isn't it? I think when you're, when you're you know, we're both on therapy, once you're up and running on it, you, you can see the differences, right? But if you're someone before, and you want to know why would you want to be on TRT? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question because I think we take it for granted being on TRT for so many years. Yeah. But there are different reasons. Sometimes the symptoms of your natural progression of low levels of testosterone mm -hmm. causing these symptoms yeah. brings you to the point where that's not an option anymore. Mm -hmm. So having the option of going on TRT can make all the difference. And so that, that might be one of the reasons why yeah. someone would want to go on TRT. I suppose that answers the question, doesn't it? The, the majority of those things are yeah. why you probably want to take So TRT. in the most basic form, and that's a really good question. Why, yeah. why would you want to take TRT? Why mm -hmm. would you want to take something that you're required yeah. to be on for the rest of your life? That's true. So and it's a bit of a commitment. And that's yeah. what we hear from some of our, our clients that come through. And it's yeah. a concern. It's a genuine concern. Yeah. I, I think we've been brought up to believe that drugs are bad. Yeah. And we don't always differentiate between the medicinal use of certain bio, bioidentical biological hormones yeah. and artificial synthetic drugs. Mm -hmm. And when one thinks of having to be on treatment for their entire life, it can be a bit daunting. Yeah. Yeah. So why would you want to be on TRT? Mm. So I, I suppose the uh, you've got to make a decision. If it is a commitment where you are requiring regular input of something into the body to keep hormone levels at an optimal level to, to feel normal, you have to have justification, I suppose, to do it. I mean, I had that. Yeah. I was, what I was, is the justification? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, let's think about this. You weren't feeling well. No. So the alternative, the flip side of the coin is... Mm. Do you want to go through life yeah. feeling rubbish, feeling all yeah. the, the symptoms mm. of low T yep. for, for life? And that's a commitment as well, committing to feeling rubbish yeah. and unhealthy, and not just matter how you feel, yeah. but the health implications of having suboptimal testosterone are, are immense. Yeah. So I suppose with me, I mean, yours was more of a, you know, been on therapy a lot longer, but you know, the, all of the symptoms, the, the lower mood, you know, the sexual issues, the increase in anxiety and things like that. I suppose I was, I was, um, I was, I was living life, going, you know, why have I got these issues? What's wrong with me? Um, I was definitely of the um, the the conclusion that I wanted to find out if I had a deficiency, something like that, before I considered, you know, taking one of the the pharmaceutical, you know, drugs, not a bioidentical hormone or, or, you know, or some sort of other nutritional deficiency or, or lifestyle factor. So, so I basically, I tried, you know, eating right, high saturated fat diet, you know, there's some, I think there's some, some evidence there to Did show that you, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried, I was miserable for, you know, two, but, but you know, two with, plus years. But why, why yeah. do we try this? Because I think the last thing someone wants to do yeah. is feel like they're dependent on another yeah. substance yeah. just to get by and feel good. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's a fair thing. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a no, reasonable, a point, isn't it? that's yeah. reasonable for someone to want to avoid having to have this. But when you weigh up yeah. the symptoms that yeah. you would have yeah. in the current state mm. versus how you would potentially feel or how yeah. you end up do feeling when you're completely balanced, yeah. it's, there's no question. The, at least for me personally, being on TRT yeah. treatment, I've, I've said they'd have to pry the testosterone from my cold dead hands yeah, you know, before I'd exactly. you know, stop treatment. And that's how I feel now, you know, with all the benefits of like having having actually got my levels back to normal, got a good estrogen and all those sorts of things. But the, I think I was it wasn't denial because I hadn't realised yet. I had to come to the realisation that actually those were my options, was, was carry on as I was, you know, feeling really crap with those low levels or actually take action and and it was it, the options were okay my body's not producing enough right i can live like that for the rest of my life uh, or continue struggling ag on against maybe you know, the environmental factors that people talk about things well, like that well i think that helps one focus their mind on why they're doing it because if we live in a pristine world like mm. you say the garden of eden if one were yeah. to exist you know, you'd say, well, I wouldn't want to have anything. This is the way God made me. We're the way I'm meant yeah, to be. Yeah. This way nature created. Yeah. And, but we're not in that world. No. You know, we were in diesel car emissions. Yeah. You know, the, the plastics, 
the environmental and estrogens and the toxins that yeah. are affecting our body. Mm. And it's not your fault. Yeah. It's just the environment that we live in. And so this is our, basically we're fighting fire with fire in this case. Yeah. There's a good book, isn't it? The, the American Estro Generation, how do you pronounce it? Yeah. Or Estro Generation, if, if you're in the UK. There's, uh, I thought that was really interesting. Good book to read if you want to sort of read about the environmental attack that's going on on end endocrine disrupting chemicals, which I was not aware of at all, and things like birth control that's in the water that is hormone disrupting and things like that. I mean, there's got to be a reason why mm. they're seeing generations of men now mm. with lower levels of testosterone yeah. than previous generations. Yeah, because that's the thing. The, the laboratories, the laboratories have. Obviously, they, they get their reference ranges from the... from the Yeah, so the, the, every lab that tests your blood, yeah. um, they'll look at the samples of men they've coming through their labs mm. and, and will adjust it. So t traditionally, uh, men were having, on average, higher levels. Mm -hmm. there, were, there was a paper in 1996 that showed average testosterone levels in men, and they yeah. pulled out the most sickly men, the men with diabetes in particular, yeah. to assess well, what is the median level of testosterone yeah. uh, of all different age groups, and yeah. what's the median level of free testosterone. And uh, the, the median level of free testosterone for a healthy 23, 24-year-old well, was somewhere around like 0.45. Mm -hmm. But are we seeing this today? It's, it's, it's rare. Yeah, yeah. And, and of course, we're a bit biased because when the ones come to see our doctor, the levels are usually those who are um, yeah. on the lower end because they somewhat are self-selected. Mm. You know, they, they found out they have conclusion. low testosterone. They yeah. say, well, why, why do I want TRT? They've already made up their mind yeah. why they would go on TRT because they're yeah. not feeling well. You know, I think it's important that we address why go on TRT because yeah. I think it just brings it back down to a very basic level mm. where... I think because we're in it all the time, you, you don't really, yeah. you don't really think. But it, you know, it, there's a lot of trepidation before starting, mm. and, it's a, and, it, and it's, it is a, a big commitment for some. Yeah. But it, the, the the benefit for many yeah. is great. So the reason why you want to go on TRT is if you've got symptoms, you you know you're looking for um, creating balance in the body and restoring normal sort of physiological function with bioidentical hormones rather than taking a next step or, or combining it with something else, I suppose. Yeah. So that, that's the reason why symptoms and then, you know, but having to recognize that it's a commitment.